Hey, what's up guys? How are you doing today? Thank you guys so much for joining me on another Microphone Monday where I upload new microphone reviews every Monday. And if you are new here, my name's Tobias and welcome to my YouTube channel. So today I have a pretty interesting video for you guys and it is actually a request from YSM Gomez. I am doing a comparison video of the Toner TC20 and the Mono AUPM401. Right now, the audio that you are hearing is coming from the Mono AUPM401. And throughout this video, I'm going to switch between this microphone and the TC20, which I have right here. And hopefully this video will help you figure out which microphone is the better option for yourself. So first, I'm gonna go ahead and talk about the similarities and differences between the two microphones. Then I'm going to do a side-by-side -side audio comparison where I switch between one microphone and the other pretty quickly. And then in the end, I'll let you guys know what I think and which microphone would be better for your purposes. And of course, guys, if at any point during this video, if you do like this video, I'd really appreciate it if you went down there and gave this video a like. And if you would like to see more videos by me in the future, make sure to go down there and hit that subscribe button and also hit that bell notifications button. So one thing I just want to say really quick is that both of these microphones are on sale right now. And let's go ahead and take a look at the Amazon pages really quick. So the PM401 usually costs $62.99. However, it is on sale right now for $49.99, which is a great deal. And I'll go ahead and have the links for these Amazon pages down in the description of this video in case you want to check them out for yourself. And usually the Toner TC20 goes for $59.99, but it's on sale right now for $41.99. And then here's the crazy thing. Last September, I did my initial review of the Toner TC20, and Toner actually gave me a promo code to get you an additional 15% off the cost of the microphone, and I just checked right now on Amazon, and my promo code is still working. So if you use my promo code, which is just my last name, I'll go ahead and have that down in the description below as well, that will get you an additional 15% off the price of the TC20. So when I went to the checkout just to see how much the total would be for the TC20, it comes out to $35.69 before tax, which is also a really good deal. And of course, both of these microphones also come with free shipping and the option for free returns. So if you are considering getting one of these microphones, right now is actually a really good time to take advantage of these sales. Okay, so as you can see, I now switched over to the TC20. And I forgot to mention earlier, I am monitoring the audio as I'm recording this, so I can hear exactly how it sounds. And just off the bat, from making that initial switch from the PM401 to the TC20, I can already tell that the TC20 seems to have um, a little more sensitivity to the higher frequencies, and it maybe does not pick up so many of those lower frequencies like the PM401 does. I'll go ahead and put up pictures of the frequency responses of these microphones right here. Personally, I typically like the sound of the kind of more even frequency response that the PM401 has, but everybody's different. Everybody might have their own personal preferences. Some people might actually like the crisp sound that they get from the TC20. But let's go ahead and talk about some of the other similarities and differences between these two mic kits. So first off, I just gotta say, the Toner TC20 definitely comes with the better mic stand. This boom arm stand right here is very good. It's very heavy duty compared to the one that comes with the PM401. It's not bad. It's just not as like heavy duty as the toner one. And the toner one just seems like a much more solid mic stand. Both of the microphones come with pop filters and both of the microphones come with wind muffs. Right now I am using the wind muffs with the two microphones. I feel like the pop filter that actually comes with the PM401 is a little more high quality than the one that comes with the TC20. When it comes to bending the pop filter to keep it in place, I feel like the Mono one is a little easier to keep in place than the toner pop filter. And besides that, the other main difference between these two microphones is that the Mono microphone, the PM401, is a USB condenser microphone, while the Toner TC20 is a XLR condenser microphone, meaning you will need to supply phantom power to this microphone, so you're going to need an audio interface to plug this microphone into. The audio interface that I'm using is a Focusrite Scarlett 2i2, and it's a somewhat affordable audio interface. It goes for around $169 or so. There's also the Focusrite Scarlett Solo, which is more around the $100 range, and it's much more basic. In my opinion, if you're looking at the Focusrite interfaces, I would say at least go with the 2i2, but it's up to you. The 2i2 gives you a little bit more versatility. 
And then the mono microphone, it does have a mute button and a headphone jack on the front of the microphone for that zero latency monitoring. And I don't want to sound like a broken record because I always say this. Um, if you're deciding between an XLR microphone and a USB microphone, in my opinion, you are better off going with an XLR microphone. I feel like it's a better investment in the future. However, if you are on a stricter budget, and you don't really plan on doing much else besides, you know, recording yourself kind of like how I am right now, or maybe recording one instrument or one thing at a time, then yeah, you're totally fine with going with a USB microphone. But if you are looking for something with a little bit more versatility, then yeah, I would say go with an XLR microphone, get an audio interface, and then, you know, down the road, you can get other XLR microphones, you can use them at the same time, you can record multiple things at once. It just opens like a lot of doors, but it just depends what you're personally doing with it yourself. So I think that basically covers a lot of the similarities and differences between these two microphones. Let's go ahead and do our side-by-side -side audio test. Alright guys, so here we are on the PM401. Let's go ahead and take a listen to the noise floor. Okay, let's go ahead and check out the TC20. Alright guys, let's go ahead and take a listen to the noise floor of the TC20. Okay, let's go ahead and change back over to the PM401. All right, and this is what it sounds like when I'm tapping on my keyboard right behind the PM401. And this is what it sounds like when I'm tapping on my keyboard right behind the TC20. This is how it sounds when I'm roughly five feet away from the PM401. This is how it sounds when I'm standing roughly five feet away from the TC20. <laughs> And let's go ahead and get our final listen in with the PM401. So let's go ahead and get our last listen in with the TC20 and try to decide whether you like the sound of one microphone over the other. Alright guys, so I just re-listened to that audio that I just recorded and as you can see I am back on the PM401. And when it comes to which microphone I prefer the sound of personally, I feel like I prefer the sound of the PM401 when recording my voice, however I do do think that I preferred the sound of the TC20 when I was recording my guitar because it didn't pick up as many of those lower frequencies that kind of made my guitar sound a little bit muddier when I recorded it with the PM401. Now do take into consideration these are all kind of things that you could mess with in your EQ or like if you're if you're recording some music and you want to like EQ those frequencies out. Those are definitely things you can do as well, but just strictly like the raw audio from the microphones, I think I prefer this one, which helps pick up the warmthness from my voice. And then I prefer the TC20 for cutting out those lower muddy frequencies when recording my acoustic guitar. So those are just a couple things that you can take into consideration when choosing between these two microphones. But remember guys, one of the other things that you need to take into consideration is whether you want to go with a USB mic or if you want to go with an XLR mic. And just because I said I prefer the sound of the PM401, some people might actually prefer that crisp sound that the TC20 picked up from my voice over the warm sound that the PM401 picked up from my voice. So it all kind of comes down to personal preference. In the end, these are both solid microphones. They're both on sale right now. The TC20 is $15 less expensive. However, you do have to consider the cost of buying an audio interface. So if you are on a really strict budget, I would say you are totally fine going with the PM401. This is a great mic. I've always loved this microphone. And you guys have been hearing the same exact audio that I've been hearing. So I would love to know what you guys think. Do you agree with me? Do you disagree? Let me know down in the comments below which microphone you prefer the sound of. And once again, I will have the Amazon pages for these two microphones linked down in the description of this video in case you want to check those out for yourself. And if you did like this video or if this video helped you out, I would really appreciate it if you went down there and gave this video a like. That would help me out so much. And if you would like to see more videos by me in the future, make sure to go down there and hit that subscribe button and also hit that bell notifications button. And I will talk to you guys in my next video. Peace!